Welcome in again to another version of the Union Football Coaches Show. I'm Rick Corey. This is Kirk Frederick, the head football coach of the Union football team. <laughs> I still almost miss that up all the time. You do have a couple of finalists, though. We, I bet we do. We do. Have your players all voted on that name? We, we have not voted, no. Uh, the way we played last week, you probably thought we sat around voting. Um, <laughs> and that's, that's uh, obviously tongue-in-cheek, and, and you got to laugh to keep from crying when you come out you know, with a with a, um, a loss against Jinx in the backyard bowl, wish the kids would have played harder, all those kinds of things. But, you know, one thing that um, uh, you look at perspective, that half the teams that played last week didn't win. And you don't want to be on that side of it. But if you're going to be on that side of it, I mean, I would love to have my team. I mean, I'd love to have um, get to go practice in a facility that we have. You know, if you're... If you're going to lose that one game, you know uh, we've got the recipe to try to try to put things back together, and and uh, sky's not falling, you know all those kinds of things, and uh, we look forward to taking this, learning uh, what we're about, and and uh, getting ready for district play. Well, let's take a look at some of the first half. Actually, look at the stats. Pardon me. Let's look at those stats here, and this is not just for the first half, it's for the entire game. What really jumps out at you first, coach? You know, I just, I mean, I. I knew that Jinx defensively played really tough and really well, and they had an outstanding game plan. Their kids played played really well. Um, you know, that was um, probably the things that that bothered me the most were were um, our penalties. You know, it looks even there, but a lot of those penalties for Jinx came late. You know, when the when the game was uh, a little bit out of hand, and so you know, for us and the self-imposed penalties that we had. Uh, we had 10, um, 10 opportunities offensively, Rick, and uh, two of those were three and outs, and every other one had, had a penalty or multiple penalties uh, in that drive. So just really hard to get going, you know, when you're behind the sticks. And, and uh, so we've got to correct some discipline things with, uh, within our team and, um, you know, some of that, which, you know, it's chicken or egg, which comes, comes first. You know, if you have momentum, do you create some of those? And, I uh, just don't like the response uh, that we had, and so we've got to got to come back and say, when we face adversity like that, you know, what kind of response do we want to have? How do we want to handle that? And that's from that's from coaches and players and everyone involved. And I think as as we will grow, and what we did last year when we were in a situation like this, uh, as we grow, we'll be a little bit tougher, mentally tough to to overcome some of those things. But uh, hats off to Jinx; um, they played extremely hard. They were hungry. Um, you know, they wanted it more, whatever that phrase is that you put there. Uh, and they had a good game plan and, and pulled out the victory. Yeah, let's get to our players of the game. I'm glad to see that Nate Marshall is our offensive player of the game. He plays there at center. Those guys don't get a lot of attention, but he did good work. Well, you know, one of the things that um, not everything's broken, you know, I mean, you, you don't score. And, uh, and, and so you look at guys that came prepared to play. He had a great test. Uh, Jinx has a really good front. And uh, I thought that Nate played outstanding. He was a bright spot for us up front and, and really proud of Nate. And had played guard last year, came over and, and is playing center now and, and really proud of him. And then Devin Robinson on defense. And Devin's really a, a nice job defensively and offensively. Yeah. He's really mixing in well. Been really active. You know, if you were to say guys that love to play football, he's one that sticks out, you know, and uh, played the game like he loves it and, and uh, started out with a big interception that was huge early in the game. And, Really, really excited for, for D. Rob and how he's playing. And then when it comes to special teams, you can't make Ty Tyler Cowan your guy every week or TJ <laughs> every week. So how about Thomas Gifford? Yeah, Thomas Gothard. He's a guy that um, is has a lot of speed and a lot of talent. Had two solo tackles. Uh, you look at at uh, the way that he's he's covering on kicks is outstanding, and look forward to see what he does for us at corner too as he starts to grow in that position. All right, so let's get to the first half highlights. When we come back, it'll be Union and Jinx, the backyard bowl right here at the brand new redone Union Tuttle Stadium. We're athletes, coaches, and your child's high school athletic trainer. We're your friends and neighbors, and we make our Home. Our home in green country. Like you, we run and fish, hike, and bike. We enjoy the mountains and lakes. So we know how important staying active is to you. Staying active is to you. We're physicians and therapists. Our groundbreaking treatments are helping you heal faster. Helping you heal faster. We're advanced orthopedics of Oklahoma. And we're the team physicians for more universities. More high schools and more club teams than all other providers combined. We're focused on providing you personalized orthopedic care. Personalized orthopedic care. 
treating the area's best teams. And the athlete in all of us. And the athlete in all of us. Welcome back. This is the Union Football Coaches Show. Kirk Fredericks, the head coach. I'm Rick Corey. Let's get right to the first half highlights of Union and Jinx, Union Tuttle Stadium. Always so fun. Your pregame is really this kind of special deal now. Yeah, I, I think we're heading towards a rock concert. <laughs> I, I know that, but I'm really excited uh, for our kids and the atmosphere and the students and had a pep assembly earlier that day. And a lot of people put in a lot of work uh, getting this ready. And I'm excited, excited to see that uh, there's a lot of pride involved. Uh, it's not just a football team, it's a lot of people involved at Union. Come out uh, offensively first, and uh, Jinx, you know, the defensive front, again, a lot of movement up front. They did a great job for us and uh, against us, and uh, unfortunately, we just don't, don't pick up enough here. And uh, great, great play, missed too many blocks, point of attack. So they get the ball back, and we, we go right to, to D. Rob. He's our player of the game, and, and Devin Robinson uh, does a great job. Uh, in the coverage, goes up, makes a nice pick. I uh, love how he high points the ball, okay? And uh, uh, again, just, just does a really good job. Safety over top, corner underneath, and uh, nice job. Uh, good defense and uh, pretty excited. You're, you, uh, obviously, as a coach right now, you're thinking, all right, we stopped the first possession, let's get going. Come back, got some pretty good blocking up front, but just not enough from the backside. Uh, Try to get an inside screen and uh, doesn't work very well there. So we get to a, uh, a third down, run a nice bootleg, and get the ball to J Jakari Jenkins. Uh, makes a nice, nice play, but just not quite enough. Don't do a very good job on the edge right here. They make us pay for it. We had some issues with our edge uh, the other night uh, defensively. Just don't get there. You see a lot, of, uh, a lot of defensive players chasing the football there. A lot of guys at the point of attack. Really nice play by Ashlock. Ashlock made a nice stop, and of course, some of those guys in the defensive front, R.J. Wilson underneath there, and does a good job. You got Fisher in there as well. So uh, Jackson Jennings, nice play for the defensive front. Come back, uh, try to get a ball down the middle, got good coverage, and uh, defensively, uh, again, a nice stop. Uh, just gotta get some stuff going offensively. They stop us on first down. Come back, uh, good to have Junior back with us, and Junior gets a nice carry inside, got good block up front there. He makes two or three guys miss, pick up a first down, feel really good about the, feel, feel really good about the, uh, the way we started this drive. Yeah, you start to feel a little bit of momentum here, finding some holes with the running yeah. game. There's Nate Marshall up front, again, does a really good job. You can see Nate at center there, climbing up to the second level, making a nice play. Miss a block at the point of attack, and. Uh, on the empty check and just just don't get it just don't get it going there another empty check that uh, we miss uh, misread the uh, the box and and uh, puts us uh, in a tough situation come back and and look I really like the way Grayson played the other night Grayson had an outstanding game did a really good job it comes back to Gage Arthur and it uh, makes a nice catch for a first down one more look Really good job securing the, securing the ball, picking up the first down. And uh, uh, unfortunately, I, was, I, uh, I couldn't remember the situation, but as we talked about the penalties, uh, just really put us behind the chain. Uh, really tough situation. Uh, Jinx, good play call, hit a screen. Uh, we, we brought two off the edge, off that one, and hit us for a screen. And disappointed that we couldn't chase him down, but he's a talented athlete. And, and uh, they go up with a big play for us. That's just right call, right time on their part. Come right back. We've got to find a way to answer. Junior does a good job. Gets a nice carry up front. Uh, good blocking in there. He finds the cut. See uh, uh, Damarian Thomas, a, a talented guard, Junior. Makes a nice block. Gets us out to midfield. Got another good carry. Picks up there. We're going to try to answer after a big jinx play. It's the way this game typically goes. You see. Rovon with a nice play, uh, picks up a, uh, a first down. Come right back, run the bootleg, get the ball out here to Jakari, to Jackie, and got great blocking um, uh, by Damon Sanders at tight end is there. Uh, does an excellent job with that. And again, Grayson uh, just executing the play. Nice job, got great camera view there. 
guys making big plays and uh, excited for Jackie there. The Grayson's a really good play faker, isn't he? He does a really good job with that. Come back here, we cut back underneath it, uh, get to the end zone or get to the goal line. Uh, don't secure the balls, we're trying to reach across and, and uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, what was a pretty promising, great opportunity for momentum, uh, winds up being a turnover here and uh, just kind of Kind of disappointing here. I know our uh, producer here, Andy's going to show you this angle here. And uh, uh, again, it's just one of those things that uh, we just got to do a better job. If the ball didn't come out, then it's definitely a touchdown. Yeah, it looks like it broke the plane right there. You're going to comment. I'm, I'm not going to make a I understand, on yes. Yeah. So, you know, really, really deflating at times. This is one of those things we talked about. How do you respond defensively, come out? Uh, get after a little bit. Guys chasing did a really good job, uh, you know, just creating that situation. Just golly, what a tough, tough deal. Great throw, great catch by Jinx. And uh, on a third and long, you know, just don't, just don't cover it well. Don't do a good job with it. So uh, Jinx picks up a couple of big plays early, and uh, you can just kind of feel a little bit of disappointment. Uh, uh, you know, it's still a close, tight ball game at this time. We still got to compete and got to play. You see, Gabe making a nice play there. They come back out with a little tunnel to the outside. Jaden Rowe with good defense on the edge there. Get to a third and short, and uh, just not able at the point of attack to, to, uh, to stop them there. Their, their guys did a good job executing the third downs. Um, you know, probably uh, third downs where it just felt like it just never ended. I thought Jinx did a great job. I think they converted over 50% of their third downs, and I think we only converted one. So. Uh, made it really difficult on us. Come back again, just point of attack. We've got to do a better job fitting that gap. They do a good job putting guys in the position there. Uh, safety doesn't fit very well, and and uh, we get uh, get another touchdown against us. Get that one called back. Come back. We got a chance to respond. We got to do a good job of it. They hit a nice nice play over the middle uh, right here at the red zone. Um, another screen that they designed really well. I felt like their coaches did a good job, kind of out coaches in the screen game and, and uh, gets them down inside and they're able to score. You always hope for a, a, you know, a mistake to happen in the, in the kicking game and they make a mistake and man, what a heads up play by them uh, to come back and, and uh, get a nice uh, two point conversion out of that heads up play. Got to, got to play and got to finish. A lot of learning uh, that we can uh, draw from that play right there. I and mean, then heads up is what your guys have to be right here. It's just, it gets so easy to get down. So so easy here. So uh, so it's 15-0 right now, and, and uh, we've got an opportunity to uh, come back in this game so many times. Um, big plays take place, and you got to capture that momentum. Really nice play again to Gage, and had one to Junior previous to this. Uh, good job by Grayson, uh, putting the ball where it needs to go. Come back to the outside, DeMon again, really plays above himself when he gets the ball in his hands and, and did a really nice job. Come right back here, get Rovon, got good, um, good blocking point of attack, get a little fold play inside. Uh, Grayson uh, decides to keep it, picks up just what he can before he gets out of bounds. And uh, they get a tip pass here, uh, unfortunately, uh, going to uh, DeMon Sanders. Uh, get a tip, they cover it well down the field. So again, we're just going to try to do what we can to uh, get what we can. Unfortunately, uh, again, lots of, lots of yellow out there on the field uh, the other night. Grayson gets out of the pocket, uh, just trying to make something happen here. And, and unfortunately, uh, we're going to have time down. But we've, we've been in this situation before where it's actually been like 21 to 3 and come back and won. So, um, you know, we got to correct a couple of things. We got to talk to our kids about how to respond. Uh, when they're down a little bit and, and hopefully come back and play a great second half. It is, it is only 15 nothing. although yes. at times it felt like it was a little bit more than that. So that, I'm sure, was part of that speech. Yeah, it really was. It just felt, felt odd for some reason. And, and um, uh, we, we now know when we're in this situation what we need to correct and how we need to work on it. All right, so we'll see how that goes in the second half. We'll come back with the second half highlights. Union and Jinx next right here on the Union Football Coaches Show. Diet Coke. Are you my mom? You should be so lucky, because you know what moms do? Well, I suppose we should start with the whole giving you life thing. It seems like that should be enough. No? Okay. 
What about her ability to send shockwaves through the neighborhood without saying a word? Or whip up a ridiculous handmade costume that you forgot to tell her about? Not to make you happy, but because she had a reputation to uphold. She invented Rideshare, called it Carpool, and did it for free. She didn't need those dating apps either. You copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Why not? Oh, and she can win any argument in four words. Because I said so. Everything you're trying to do, she's already done it. Did it better. And she did it with a Diet Coke in her hand. So, drink what your mama gave you. Back again on the Union Football Coaches Show, along with the head coach of the Union Football Team, Kirk Frederick. I'm Rick Corey. Hey, let's get the second half highlights of Union and Jinx. Down 15 nothing. you're going to kick off here, so you need a good defensive Yeah, series. we re really talked about starting fast and trying to uh, create some momentum. We, we've got to get a uh, – we, we knew we had to start out quick these first four minutes. So defensively, we come out uh, early. They throw a, a quick pass there to the outside. Defensively, love the way the guys are rallying around. Just got to do a better job tackling. Nice job, Makai Belt comes up, makes a play. Again, a lot of guys trying to fit point of attack. Um, defensive front playing tough. Got a couple of movements in there, creating some some issues, and really like the way our guys are fitting. Got good pressure in there by Bryce. I love the play here. Um, D. Rob comes down, makes a nice, nice stop. Braylon Irvin Fisher with the tip pass. Uh, really get a big stop, so we're excited defensively. Get the stop we need, now let's go back to work offensively. Get nice push on the first play. Get a couple more yards here. Love the way Junior's coming in. Uh, picking up some big yardage after contact. Rovon gets in, makes a nice, uh, nice play as well. Come back again, unfortunately, just don't block it. Uh, sustain the block, I should say, long enough inside. Uh, get to a, a short, uh, short call here on a, on a fourth down play and uh, we make a, what I felt like was a, a really good uh, conversion on fourth down and then, on, and then immediately on that first down afterwards we get a big penalty. So starting back. Come back and it's like second or third and forever. Uh, that was kind of the theme of, of the second half for sure and uh, we're just not able to convert. Good job, point of attack, but uh, got it cut back, but we missed a few gaps in there. I believe this is a, uh, one of the series in here, I think goes 20 plays, so you gotta credit Jinx for just doing a great job uh, uh, continuing to keep the ball. Love the play, Rhett Rogers comes in. Rhett does a great job. See Rhett coming in, making a nice play. Jamari Ray in there as well at safety um, on the tackle, gets a nice stop. Unfortunately, we've got uh, another penalty uh, and uh, puts us back uh, in a situation. This is one of those, I think we had three in a row. Um, snap infraction and offsides and just a, uh, a miserable situation offensively for us. And, and you can, but again, you gotta give credit to Jinx for uh, um, you know playing hard, and making it tough on us. Yeah, you can see a little bit of frustration there in Grayson. Come back and uh, again, when, when we're down, we got to take care of responsibility, busted coverage. They do a great job. A lot of times we talk to our guys, hey, bad things may happen, but we've got to figure out a way to finish the play and got to credit them for a good call. And unfortunately, we give up a big play. We had two huge plays uh, in the game defensively. And uh, you know, at this point now, you're, uh, you're just trying to get your kids to try to believe in something and, and it's, uh, Pretty difficult when you uh, Jinx is when you're playing against a good team like Jinx. Good call or good uh, tackle there by Rhett uh, on the outside. Rhett Rogers makes a nice play. Our guys coming up, uh, Devin Robinson again coming up making making some plays and uh, setting the edge on that outside and um, just not enough, just not enough when we needed it and uh, lose the edge. Talented athlete uh, makes a big play to the outside uh, for them. A um, couple of calls going the other way for us. There's Gage, gets to the point of tag, does a nice job. Got a lot of guys in there making some big time plays and uh, uh, really, really doing a good job. There's Rhett Rogers again. 
They're just racing. They're just taking clock oh, right yeah. here. Oh yeah. You're up, you're up, uh, up at this point, and you definitely are trying to do what you can to to eat as much clock as possible in this kind of game. You've got the momentum. You need to do something to try to keep it. Come back to the counter play. R.J. Wilson does a good job with it at the point of attack, and then uh, you see another defensive lineman. Love the way Jackson Jennings, and there's DeMond in there as well, and Rhett. A um, couple of seniors in there doing a really good job fitting the counter play. Punt the ball away and, and pin us deep. Uh, just not, not, a lot on, uh, not a lot on our plate here offensively uh, in this game. We've got a lot to try to correct. I do like the way Grayson uh, threw a strike in there, picked up a first down for us when we needed it, and just unfortunately just not able to hang on to those balls that we caught earlier on. Devin with the little uh, little jet sweep to the outside, uh, picked up another another penalty at the end of that play, and just off the fingertips, Jackie got behind him there, and I thought he might pull that one away. It would have been a one-handed catch. It would have been a really cool deal and really close, and I bet we see him make that before the year's over. Once again, Jick just trying to stay in bounds for the yep, most part. Try to stay in bounds. Try to try to eat the clock away. You're, you're ahead 22 to zero. So one of those things that you just gotta uh, continue to try to fight and try to get the ball back and and uh, see what we can what we can do to get better. Can we get better within a game that that ideally you probably are going to lose this football game at this point? Good crowd. Um, uh, again, uh, everything that Union did, Jinx did, uh, everything lived up to it except for the football team from Union. So we're going to do what we can to try to correct those things and, and get excited about playing district play and see where we're at when playoffs get here. You said to me on the radio after the game that you didn't think the intensity level was quite there with your guys. You went back and looked at the tape, and you've talked to your team since that point. Was there ever any of that, you know, they're a little too hyped and that kind of stuff and, and trying to mix that too, or what do you think was doing? Just had an odd feel to it, you know, from uh, really from early on. And um, as a coach, you don't understand. You try to go back and think where we, where we might have misstepped uh, in a couple of places. And, and uh, we've done some evaluation over the weekend. We don't want to overdo it either sure. because uh, we've got some big games coming up and we want to try to play better in those. All right, so we have a, not an off week, a bye week coming up. We'll ask out what's going to happen there. Plus, we'll get our pictures up close and personal coming up next on the Union Football Coaches Show. Are you out of high school and looking for a career? At Tulsa Tech, you can explore exciting opportunities in IT, aviation, automotive, manufacturing, visual arts, and more. And Tulsa Tech offers a tuition-free scholarship for adults 18 to 23 years old. That's what I said, free. It's called the Accelerating Independent Scholarship. It's like fast-tracking into a career you love, can make money in, and a career with a future. Find out more about Tulsa Tech's Accelerating Independent Scholarship at tulsatech.edu. For more than 50 years, Central States Orthopedics and Eastern Oklahoma Orthopedic Center have been the area's leading orthopedic and sports medicine providers. And now, we've joined forces as Advanced Orthopedics of Oklahoma. One name, one focus. Excellent orthopedic and sports medicine care. Together, we serve as the team physicians for almost every high school and university in the region. We are the area's leading expert for work-related injuries, and our surgical hospital is the only five-star rated hospital in Tulsa. Advanced Orthopedics of Oklahoma. Come see why we're better together. One final segment for this week's Union Football Coaches Show, along with the head coach, Kirk Frederick. I'm Rick Corey. Let's get right to our pictures. It's our up-close and personal. This comes from dcfisherphoto.com, and you can get free downloads, by the way. Love seeing these pictures, uh, big rivalry. Obviously, the uh, Union and Jinx, uh, this kind of an iconic picture being captured over the years. Love seeing this O-line, D-line, uh, really, really cool pick. You've got Matthias Robertson, and then you got uh, Bryce Ashlock in the background. Matthias is a, is a defensive end that plays extremely hard. Really like seeing uh, Matthias play the game. There's Bryce, junior linebacker there. You got Matthias Belt. Uh, in the in uh, coming in there as well, making a nice tackle there. Rovon Banks um, playing some tailback and doing a really good job. Uh, great great photo there of Rovon uh, hitting the hole. Bennett Ringla Bennett is an uh, offensive tackle. Uh, got really promising uh, big kid that plays extremely hard, very athletic, and uh, junior for us. And really like the way Bennett's playing. Got a young sophomore here, Gino Boyd. Gino is uh, a talented sophomore for us and, and uh, catching a, uh, a, a smoke screen early on. Grayson, 
Uh, again, really proud of him and how he has played, plays with a lot of grit, and uh, really like him being our quarterback. Got another picture of our offensive line. Awesome job. You can see the way those guys, you love seeing those photos of those kids that are, are playing, uh, playing together. Uh, there's Nate Marshall. Nate is, uh, was our player of the game. Uh, really proud of Nate and how he is, has kind of transitioned into that center spot and helped us out. Got another uh, nose guard and offensive guard there, uh, Demarion Thomas, uh, big, big lunch as I like to call him, uh, there with Jaden Rowe. And uh, um, love seeing those photos of those kids. Nice job. He looked like he was looking at his lunch. He yes, was pretty focused yeah. right there, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, normal lunch isn't going to work for him. No, no, no. All right, so as we said, there's no such thing as an off week. Don't ever say that to a football coach, you'll get yelled at. I made that mistake about five years ago. I'm not, <laughs> you I'm, remember I'm, it yeah, still, don't I you? do, yes, I'm done with that. So this is a bye week, and we ask you on the radio show afterwards, and it's a good question, is it a good time for one? We always have this discussion coming off a win or a loss. What do you think? I really do. I think it's a... Uh, you know, as a loss, you'd love to go back and let's play right now and try to get this taste out of our mouth, you know. But um, uh, realistically, uh, we play these games to find out where we're at. We found out where we're at. And, uh, and so now we, we've got a couple of weeks to try to work on those things. And um, the perspective that we take into this is let's find the corrections that need to be made. Um, what in the playbook do we need to take out? I mean, what, do we, what have we been forcing? What blitz are we running that... It hadn't worked yet, so let's. <laughs> we're either going to fix it or get rid of it. Uh, some of those things, and then personnel-wise, do we have a? Is there somebody we're missing? You know, is there is there a guy that man we we thought he was a role player and he's starting to make a couple of plays? Is there something we can do uh, to help make his uh, transition into Friday nights a little better? I was going to ask. It's got to be harder sometimes after two weeks to either self scout or do that to find a mesh because sometimes you may be gained five or six before you truly find that. You're exactly right. I mean, it's it's one of those things. You've played three different opponents, and and uh, the, all the three of these have been a little bit unique. Um, and you you know you're two and zero, oh and you feel like that that things are really good, and you come into this game and you realize, hey, we still have another level we need to reach if we're going to beat a team like Jinx. You know, if we're going to have an opportunity to compete against Owasso in a couple of weeks. There's a level we need to get to, and, and uh, we'll spend these two weeks trying to get that, that hammered out and, and come ready to play. And the good news is they will be ready. I mean, they're, they're going to want to play by the time that Owasso game arrives, and Union will be home once again. So we hope to see you here at the new Union Tuttle Stadium. It'll be a couple of weeks. So it'll be Owasso and Union, and it doesn't get any easier for you and your staff, but we'll make it work either way, right? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. All right, we'll see you there, and we'll see you afterwards on the next version of the Union Football Coaches Show.